Ultra Video Pirate T. Oi, I wanted to make this video showing you how to remove, reseat, or replace the memory on this Gateway ZX4971G. Now you have to take the cover off, and there's four screws here that you have to take off, plus there's this. This comes off, two screws there and the plastic cover for this that you have to take off first and then there's one two screws here that you have to take off and also there's two screws underneath the DVD so the DVD cover is going to be like this and there's two screws underneath the DVD if you do not remove them you're going to crack the case so remember that then once you get the cover off then you're going to see this and I just Lay down this all in one facing down top to bottom the memory is right underneath here so we're gonna have to take some screws out and I'll show you where the memory is at and I will even show you how to take out the memory it'd be easier if this all in one was probably standing like this to take out the memory and I'll show you why but for now we'll just leave it like this and it's just a couple of screws so I have most of this all-in-one taken apart except for obviously the cover it's just one cover that you have to worry about to get to the RAM the hard drive is here there's the DVD drive right there but the RAM's right underneath this plate so I think here's another screw here so that's three screws I think it's a total of five or maybe well maybe more than that maybe six total screws but we'll get there we'll get there and I'll try to talk as close to the Android as possible because I know the audio on this isn't very good when I record when I record video so well maybe I'll just use my left hand Okay, then I think there's two. Now it won't come out off all the way yet. Let's see why. Oh, let's see. I think. I think there might be this one. Okay. Oh, there's there it is. There's so many screws that it confuses me. I guess there's more than six, but we'll get there. All right. So now I think no, I think these two have to come off too. Well, I don't know why they really screwed down, but it's real easy. Once you get the cover off, it's real easy. The microprocessor is underneath here. You can see the heat sink. That's the heat sink. That's not dusty at all, so I'm not worried about cleaning that out. The reason why I am showing you this is I have this computer, the cover off, and also when I went to re-image this computer after formatting the hard drive with Derek's boot nuke, it started freezing up checking for updates okay so you see how the cover is almost off you don't want to do that because you could probably get the memory out but you don't want to bend anything and this isn't my computer so then it's probably two of them here so when I would try to check for Windows updates it would just freeze up the control panel would and I would have to kill the process so there's one. Boy, that's an ugly one. Okay. Boy, that's really ugly the way they situated these screws, man. I hope I can get it out. Yeah. I don't understand these billion dollar I don't understand these billion dollar corporations some sometimes, man. 
just really, really s stupid, stupid. There you go. See, I mean, they didn't even they didn't even leave enough room for the screw to remove it. Maybe that was by design. They don't want you to take apart these computers. Okay, I think this is the final screw. So when I reseated the RAM, it fixed that issue, which does occur. Okay, so here's the plate. That's it. So it's going to... I'm pretty... Oh, one more? Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, this is a joke. I don't want to break anything. I don't want to bend the... It's not my computer. And this is where... All right. Okay, so now, now it'll come off. All right, so that's it. We can set that aside. Now, there's other covers for the microprocessor is here. If you ever had to, you know, fuck with the microprocessor and reset it, there's a screw there. Here's the cooler. Well, here's a microprocessor, but there's a f there's something else underneath there. Oh, maybe the fan. Here's a heat sink. Here's a heat sink, and then here's the microprocessor. I don't know why the fuck I was looking over there. All right, so here's where the RAM is at. So, like I said before, if this was sitting vertically, it'd be easier. But what you do is you just push away. Normally, when the computer is vertical, it, because of physics, gravity, it'll move. But what you do, since it's just laying flat, just press up a little bit and then pull these out. And I'll put... You should really... I'm not too worried about electrostatic discharge but you know it's best to put it on to ground yourself and all that I am on carpet I know I know I can already hear it I don't care all right so then press up press up there you go it'd be easier if this was vertical because then because of gravity when you pulled away the chip would probably might move towards you it just depends on then you just pull them out and then place them back in so when I reseated the memory it cleared up that issue with Windows Update freezing and control panel so that that does occur and same thing sometimes you have to format the hard drive with like Derek boot and Nuke because you'll notice weird issues like that where you just re-image the computer and all of a sudden File Explorer is running really slowly. Or Windows Updates freezes up. And it fixed it right away. What I did was I took the memory out and I used an eraser. That's an old school trick. And then I installed the memory in different slots so I just reversed them. That's another thing I do. I just reversed the slots that they were in and it runs just fine. No more freeze ups. Here is the CMOS battery since I'm here. These are two, what? I didn't even look at them. The operating system detects six. These, these are two gigs. Are they both two? Yeah, I think so. Wow, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so they just slide back in. Here's the microprocessor with the copper heat sink. And if you were to take... You can re you can you know reseat that and redo the thermal grease, which I'm not going to do because the computer's running just fine. But I'm just showing you if you ever had to on this gateway. The model is right there. ZX four nine seven one G. It's a gateway all in one ZX series. Hard drive, DVD drive. Here's a little power board. The screen is back behind here. If you had to replace the screen, you'd have to take this all out. Probably these screws on the side, the remaining screws, and lift it out. That would be a big project. The speakers are right here. Those are easy to get to in, in case they fail. Two screws same on both sides. Those are easy to replace. Hard drive I already replaced in a previous video. That was easy. DVD would be easy. It looks like one screw probably. Now, when you put this back together, don't forget that there are two screws on the side right by the DVD. When you put the cover back, this, you know, 
comes off but it's going to be like right there and the screws under underneath and so don't forget that anything else i can show you i'm let's see there must be a fan underneath here let me see yeah oh that's where the yeah i'm pretty sure that's where the fans at here's the power for the fan and then they put it right there onto the heat sink here i'll show you the heat sink on the other end it's just a standard aluminum probably and then copper and it's fan it's not water-based cooling now you don't want these uh, bend real easily you don't want to bend them and dust sometimes get in there and that will cause your computer to run slow but I don't need to clean that up because I don't, there's no dust bunnies in there but so let's oh there's a there's an a extender looks like probably some kind of extender card would fit here maybe for more maybe for PCI slots I'd have to look up the specs on the that's interesting I'd have to look up the specs maybe for PCI slots or video well probably not video because the cover I'm not sure let me think uh, let's see I think no, there's no there's no slots on the back. I'm not sure what that would be, but there's a extender slot right there. Right there. That's interesting. Okay, so and there here's the Wi-Fi. That'd be easy to replace. They have two antennas, gray, well white and black. They're the antennas. And they come right off. But if you needed to replace the Wi-Fi card, it's right there. And there's two screws and it's got a little separate slot capacitors those little and then the CMOS batteries right there and there's a jumper so it looks like it only has two H2 SATA slots here's HDMI I think yeah that's the HDMI on the back I'm not sure what this other connector is right there I'm not sure another power maybe so that's how you replace the memory is you have to take this cover off and it will go back and then obviously you just have to screw down the screws back and I don't let's see how many were there two four six what ten eleven so that's how you replace the RAM on a Gateway ZX4971G. Adios.